in this video I'm taking a look at a camera and alarm clock combination. Check out a couple of images and then we'll talk a little bit more about it and check out some demonstration video from the clock. Alright, so we're taking a look at this little clock radio. It's just a little bit over four inches long, has about a four foot cable included, so you've got a lot of room for placement and options. Uh, your camera is located here on the top corner. You have your time, which could be displayed in 12 or 24 hour format. You have your alarm. Uh, at the very top, you have alarm off and on, and below that, you have the alarm time. Then you have the month and the date, and then below that, the AM and the PM. So it actually has quite a bit of information provided. It's relatively small, but even with my poor vision, for the most part, I can make it out decently well, not too bad. So that's pretty good, actually. Uh, up on the top, you have five buttons. You have your set button, which you just have to hold down until the lights are blinking, and then you use the other two to change the uh, like time, minute, month. Uh, day and then when it's sitting like this and not in uh, menu or anything for the uh, setting as far as flashing numbers you can change by using the uh, second or third button from 12 to 24 hour format you just push that it'll say 12 or 24 you choose which one you want and then you just don't touch it and after about six seconds it'll go off and that will be the one that's selected and then you have your alarm button which of course you just turn the alarm off and on by uh, pressing that and then the very last button is actually a display off button so if you wanted this to not even be really noticeable at all which is not really noticeable it's just a tiny little dot so you don't notice the camera anyway so in terms of spy camera it is kind of you know, covert in that regard so there we go I hit the alarm button on the back I left it open for the moment so you got your port here for charging. You have a 3000 milliamp battery. You also have your power reset and your micro SD card slot down here. It does not include one so you have to provide your own. And uh, 3000 milliamp battery that's great because you should get reportedly in the neighborhood of five to six hours. That probably is going to vary between day and night because you have the uh, IR uh, is needed for the night vision. So that's going to cut into the battery life some so keep that in mind uh, charging is going to be uh, pretty much an overnight thing and if the battery gets too low then you know you you want to keep it charged up you're gonna kill the life of the battery so within the app which is going to be Toya or Smart Life either one I use Toya T-U-Y-A I'll leave links below uh, Toya Smart you can actually set a uh, power management uh, alert so that the battery level drops and I'll show you an uh, image of the interface uh, for the Toya uh, app and basically uh, main screen on the bottom left of the video at the top you'll have the uh, indicator for sound you have your HD settings your full screen those are all on the video below the video you have uh, record and uh, screenshot so basically you know take a picture uh, whatever the camera see you have your playback uh, options from there, your gallery for viewing whatever uh, pictures you've taken and such, but you also go into the main gallery on your phone to view the videos and pictures. And then on the top right, of course, your little dots are going to lead you to your menu where you can remove the device, get offline notifications, uh, update the device, you can change the night vision, the motion detection settings, which uh, seem to work fine. It's up to 33 feet. Uh, you know with the IR that's pretty much it there's a little bit of storage setting options not a whole lot of options available but you know the basics that you would expect uh, but yeah it actually has a pretty decent uh, feel of quality to it it doesn't feel too cheap uh, like some you know feel real hollow and plasticky this one's relatively small so everything's pretty densely uh, packed and and it has a nice little weight to it with the with the battery uh, you know adding some of the weight but also 
keeping it from being a problem when the power goes out. The alarm is quite loud, so even a heavy sleeper probably will wake up because I heard it all the way across the room and it was very loud to me. Uh, the box it comes in is very basic. It has a very good user manual, although it does have words duplicated like the, the, or AA uh, at one point that I noticed, which I guess most people wouldn't. You do have a little charging brick, uh, included power brick, and of course the cover. And then the micro USB cable, which is about four feet long. So other than that, uh, that's pretty much everything as far as the charging and the operation and everything. The Toya app is very easy to use. Adding the device is very easy. The manual details it very well. So now the best thing to do is kind of let the camera speak for itself. The audio, it could be better if your phone is within 20 or 30 feet, you're probably going to get some feedback somewhere in that neighborhood. After that point, if your phone's further away, you probably won't get that feedback, so it'll be a little bit clearer. But if your phone's in too close a proximity, you'll get a lot of feedback, and it's going to have a squelch type sound. Uh, if you're familiar with the squelch of a of a radio, anyway. So yeah, it's gonna. It's not the greatest audio. Audio is decent. Uh, would have expected to be a little bit better, considering the price. But you know, it is what it is. Video is probably a way more important than video anyway in terms of uh, seeing what's going on. And the video, eh, it's not terrible. It's acceptable, uh, depending upon what you decide is acceptable to you. So you know, subjective. But I think it's not bad. It's good enough. Uh, probably for most people. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I'll let the videos show you uh, like just real quickly, a uh, little bit of distance, a little bit closer up, some audio and uh, day and night or, or light and non-light I should say. And that uh, hopefully will give you an idea. Now I think I've told you everything I wanted to tell you about it. If you want to find out more, check out the link below. Thanks for watching and check out this quick demonstration so you have an idea of what to expect. Alright, audio recording.